This Jeep 4xE was charging outside a building in an industrial area of New York City when thick gray-white smoke started pouring out into the cabin. What employees did next could have ended in disaster, and it shows exactly why Jeep has recalled nearly all 4xEs on the road today. You found stashed. I'm Pat, firefighter, mechanical engineer, and battery guy. This incident happened earlier this year in July, and I get a ton of videos and inside information from people when they reach out, and people reach out worldwide. In a perfect world, that stuff would go public right away. It shouldn't be something tucked away and hidden. We all learn from failures. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes a little time before I can share the details of certain incidents. So before we get into the recall itself, let's look at what exactly happened to this Jeep when the battery failed. If you've been watching my content for a while, you know that this isn't your typical smoke. This is Thermal Runaway. A lot of people think that when a lithium ion battery goes into Thermal Runaway, it always means fire. But sometimes, like in this case, the batteries start off-gassing a toxic flammable cocktail. The Fire Safety Research Institute just released a paper on what's actually in the smoke, and I'll cover that in detail in another video. Bottom line, it's not something that you really want to breathe in. Realistically, any smoke, do you want to be breathing that in? Not really. Even your basic campfire. But your basic campfire, it's not going to kill you instantly. This stuff has a good chance at hurting you and hurting you long term. These guys are extremely lucky it was a windy day, and they're even luckier that they were standing upwind. Bottom line, they're just going in to be helpful. And one of them opened the door and dumped a dry chemical fire extinguisher inside the cabin. They couldn't see a thing, and the battery was still off-gassing. This is something I don't recommend. You really want to stay away from electric vehicles if that high-voltage battery is in Thermal Runway. But this is a new technology, and many people don't realize how hazardous it is to their health. It's part of the reason I started this channel, to educate the public on these types of new hazards. As you can imagine, the fire extinguisher did nothing. Then the door was shut. That's about the time I started holding my breath just waiting for that hard top to launch skyward, just like we saw in that video from Belgium back in 2023. When that fuel-air mixture hit just right, there was a minor deflagration. Unfortunately, it wasn't caught on video. Thankfully, though, this Jeep didn't have a full hard top. It had that automatic retractable roof. It's kind of a hybrid between the hard top and the soft top. Once the fabric blew open, the off-gassing event quickly turned into a full-blown vehicle fire. Shortly after that, the flames were really going. A forklift rushed in, grabbed the Jeep, and moved it away from the building. Honestly, a smart move and another lucky situation where the wind helped protect the operator. That move likely prevented damage to the building itself, keeping this a smaller incident. You can really notice the difference once ignition happens. Before the fire, the vehicle was pumping out that thick, gray, white smoke from the batteries, off-gassing a vapor cloud. But once it lit off, the scene looked almost cleaner. Bigger flames, but very little smoke. After the fire was out, the Jeep was basically a shell. There really wasn't much left. Looking at the rear seat area, you can see straight down into what used to be the high-voltage battery pack. The outer casing is almost completely melted away, giving you a good look at the individual parts inside. You can even see the internal bus bars. That's the solid copper strips that tie the modules together inside the pack. The amount of destruction is pretty impressive, but it also gives you a rare look of what's actually happening inside one of these vehicles during the failure. Here's where things get interesting. Jeep just issued its biggest recall yet for the 4xE, covering about 375,000 vehicles. This isn't the first time Jeep has recalled the 4xE for battery fires. The first recall came out back in late 2023, actually about this time in 2023, and it covered roughly 32,000 vehicles. Then in 2024, that recall expanded to about 154,000 vehicles in the U.S., and that was after several vehicle fires were reported in parked vehicles. Their solution up until now has been software updates, something I have criticized in multiple videos. But here's the problem. Many of the recent fires happened in vehicles that already had that software update. According to the reports, at least nine fires involved vehicles that already had received the 2024 fix. The defect centers around a high-voltage battery pack, and it's actually the cell itself, which is made by Samsung. Inside each lithium-ion battery cell is a thin separator. It's a little piece of plastic that keeps the positive and negative part. 
If those separators are damaged or contaminated during manufacturing, they can fail. If they're not installed properly during manufacturing, they can fail. And that allows the cell to short circuit internally, causing a fire. Once that happens, thermal runaway is almost guaranteed, and when your battery pack is located inside the passenger compartment of that vehicle, anyone inside that vehicle will be exposed to those toxic vapors. Thankfully, at least not that I'm aware of, there haven't been any fatalities yet, but it is a real possibility. The recall notice from Stellantis and NISTA makes it clear, these vehicles can catch fire even when parked or charging. Owners are being told to stop charging and park your vehicles outside, away from buildings and other vehicles, until the fix is available. Unfortunately, I don't believe a software update is going to fix this issue. This is a hardware problem that deserves a hardware solution. Each battery pack contains about 100 cells, and it only takes one cell to fail for a catastrophic incident. Jeep could, in theory, disassemble every pack and inspect each cell, but that kind of inspection would likely require a CT scan or x-ray. 100 cells across 375,000 vehicles adds up to nearly 38 million cells. Not really realistic when you start looking at an inspection plan. I think a new or refurbished battery pack, that really is the only way around this, and that should ensure a real solution to this problem. What's frustrating here is that some of these vehicle owners thought they were safe. They followed recall instructions, they even got software updates, maybe even had that pack inspected, and still they ended up with vehicles that burned. This is where it gets dangerous. You've got people plugging in their vehicles in attached garages or parking them next to a structure, and if something goes wrong, they might only get a few seconds of warning before that off-gassing turns into ignition. At the moment, Jeep hasn't announced what their fix will be. This is a reminder that recalls don't always eliminate risk. Sometimes they just buy time while engineers figure out what's really going on. In this case, it seems like they know what the issue is, but they still haven't decided on what the most cost-effective solution is. This New York City incident could have ended a lot worse. The people nearby did a few things right. They stayed upwind of the smoke, and realistically, they just wanted to help. But moving that Jeep away from the building, that's another good thing, in theory. But opening the door mid off gassing, that could have ended very differently. So if you own a Jeep 4xE, park it outside. Avoid charging until you know your vehicle has been fixed. And if Jeep's fix involves a software update, don't assume it'll be enough.